So my fried bread's there warming in the oven. My kidneys are sitting in the pan and I'm just going to make a Bloody Mary. Now, I don't know if it's um, I should advocate drinking in the morning, but sometimes when you wake up at the end of a weekend and you know you're not going anywhere, this is the exact steadier that you need. So I'm a bit nervous about making the Bloody Mary because the two guys who are going to come and share it with me um, and eat this big breakfast happen to be two of the um, best drinks makers in the country. There's Nick Strangeway and Henry Besant, so I'm sure they're going to have a lot to say about the way I go about my Bloody Mary. Anyway, I have my own views and I will stand by them. So, first of all, a lot of ice. So get it in there. Some vodka. Don't be shy with the vodka. Yeah, just be generous. Some sherry. Now, I like a bit of sherry mixed with the vodka. I think it adds some extra depth to a Bloody Mary. So, but just a hint, not too much. Okay. Now, tomato juice, sure, but this is Clamato, something I've drunk all my life, and this is tomato juice with clam juice mixed into it, and it just takes the Bloody Mary one stage further. So... A little bit of chilli violence, as normal. Not too much, but just a little growl. I like mine quite dark with Worcester sauce, so a good punch of Worcester sauce. Some lemon juice. I never find them quite sharp enough. I like them. Well, not sharp, but with a little bit of an edge. Some celery salt. I'm just going to have a little sip with this spoon. Ooh, interesting. I'm getting increasingly nervous about giving it to uh, Nick or Henry. But there we go. But smoked haddock custard, I've made kidneys on toast with sherry and fried bread, and I've made a Bloody Mary. Surely that is the breakfast of champions. Tucking in and giving their verdicts are Valentine's good friends who are award-winning cocktail makers. If there were two people I thought were worthy who would appreciate a proper old-fashioned full-on breakfast, it's you, Nick, and you, Henry. Thank you for And I'm us. incredibly nervous, bloody nervous about my Bloody Mary, I have to say. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy breakfast. Thank you. I can take criticism, you know. The sherry's really nice background flavour in it, if there is some sherry in it. Which there I is some sherry in it, Henry. And um, I think it's not messed about with too much, which I, which I like very much. Good. A bit more kick would help my hangover, but no. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that was very honest of you. Never had had a custard. Mm. Okay, you really like us, for me. That's the first for you. Well, good. I'm... I know you're not shy, Henry. No. Chalk for soldiers, Nick? No, not chalk for soldiers are great. The creaminess of it really works well with it. That slightly smoky flavour you get from the fish. It's not off putting having custard for breakfast. No. Goody. Yeah, it's got a really nice texture to it. I was expecting a lot harder time from you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Punchy, slightly hot. Mm. Good heat. Lots of paprika. A lot of smoked paprika in there. Mm. Lovely. You're happy there. Mm, mm, mm. No, breakfast is perfect. It just set you up for a big country walk. Oh, a good evening drinking with you guys. <laughs> with the day off. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Very nice to have Thank you for you. breakfast.